delighted with that performance of Yeah, result is always the, uh, the deciding factor. You're, you're so happy with a, with another win, three points. Performance was uh, almost as, as expected against them, of course, because you do know that you have to defend well. They do play that type of football that you they you have to drop deep at times. But I thought first half, when we managed to to put the press high up, that we we made them make mistakes. First 15, 20 minutes maybe were harder than than we yeah. we should have made it. But uh, we started making hurrying them a bit more, harassing them, winning the ball higher up and created chances. We we had some big ones. That's a change, isn't it, how you play against the Luton? To actually force those mistakes high up, high up the pitch. It didn't feel quite such a counter-attacking. No, we, we've tried before as well uh, to do that because we know that the, the more you can keep them uh, out of their rhythm and make them make mistakes gives you a, a better chance. But they're they're so good, they're comfortable, and of course Pep wants them wants them to play and make uh, attempts to play out from the back. And uh, but we were, th it's an absolute, as I've said a couple of times here now in the press, uh, a privilege to to have players like this. The the commitment, desire, the hard work they put in, the, uh, to be humble enough, the humility to, to know that we have to work our socks off and I think that's what the fans love about this uh, group of players as well. I think the connection is there to be seen. Sorry Alan, yeah. do, you, do you think that's one of your most complete or if not your most complete team performance if you're looking in terms of indi individual performances in the collective and actually stopping a very free scoring side from having Many chances at all. Yeah, you can say that off the ball. I thought defensively we did excellent. Counter attacking was excellent, and we're dangerous. We would like to keep more, keep the ball more often, and defend if you like with the ball and keep it and keep them running more. But that's, you know, when you get the one nil and you, uh, we still created big, big enough chances to win, win more. Uh, but then David had a couple of saves as well, and they had a few opportunities. So. But he's one of the best ones, yeah. Have you worked on free kicking training? Well, we work on everything. But of course, Bruno's practicing, and Anto, they're all practicing free kicks and set plays. And you have a couple of different options. Uh, I expected him to maybe cross that one because we do have superiority in the air, but um, they found the connection, them two. He seems, sorry, he seems to have energized the whole. The whole place. The whole club support, yeah, yeah. Because he has everything I spoke about there. He works hard, he's got, he's humble enough, he's got the desire, commitment, but he's also got the X factor. He's, he's a risk taker, he's, he's got the courage, he's brave enough to make mistakes, and if you make enough mistakes, you'll. You, you, they'll be corrected into uh, fantastic assists or goals. Sorry. Yeah, you, you need a character here. You need a character at this club. Uh, but this team, they've got that as well, and they've learned through uh, some hard times in this season because we have been a young team and we've we have started something that we believe in and. Um, Bruno's helped that. You mentioned the first league double over the city for 10 years. Yeah. Do you think the progress you made this season with the, the character and the commitment of the players and with the right additions in the summer in terms of transfers coming in, you can be in a position to challenge them out. I know they're probably a long way ahead of them. But do you feel that you're on that track to kind of... Well, we feel we're improving all the time and we know that we, we lack one or two, three uh, players in to, to be uh, considered a, and some experience to be considered a, a title contender. We know that and we're not going to talk, start talking about that now. We're just going to start talking about getting up the table, getting more points, challenging for that top four because Chelsea and Leicester are too far ahead of us for my liking still. Oli, if you are to make United champions again, which obviously is the, the, the goal, yeah. you're going to have to overcome two of the greatest managers living in yeah. Guardiola. He's beaten Guardiola three times. Yeah. Do you believe you are that manager? <laughs> I haven't. I haven't beaten Pep 
uh, three times. It's my players that I have. And yes, I believe in my capability of uh, improving this club uh, as much as I can. Yeah. What was the, uh, I think it was a ninth clean sheet in the last 12 uh, games. Yeah. Uh, eight, eight in 10, nine in yeah. eight, eight in 10, and the two goals we conceded, one shouldn't be given. Because the ball's rolling, VAR should have been there, Europa League and Davids we know, so we're getting there, we're getting better. It's a foundation to play from. How are you, what, what's been the key to that, just the time? Well, time and quality players, and I've got good players, you know, Harry and Victor they've, and David, they've been excellent, and then Eric's come in and give us a challenge, Luke Shaw has been absolutely top class, Aaron has been a, well, we can see his performance today, and Brandon the kid, uh, not faced by anything, so it's just continuing work on the field with Kieran, especially, uh, and Michael, the, the, the coaches, they've, uh, they've helped them a lot. Obviously, to be seeking out someone after the second goal, there was that your family. And That's family, yeah. Been a special moment. For yeah, of course it is. You because you, we we should have done this to Liverpool earlier, and you're thinking, is it not going to be when you miss the opportunities to make it two nil? And but of course it's great that we uh, we managed to uh, get another one. Are you surprised that I know it was in consequence in the end, but it looked like Fred was caught in the first half. Like penalty, driving. clear penalty. That's Did you ask my team why, yeah. why there was no intervention from the bar? They check, checked it apparently, so, well, we got different eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last question. What message does this send out to the wider football world beating City? We're still the reigning champions, whatever Liverpool have done, they're still the champions. Yeah. Beating them twice, or three times, obviously, yeah. this season. What message does this send out? No, you tell me. Uh, it, it, for me, it shows we're on the right track and we're improving, and that we are uh, we are man united that we can uh, we are looking towards catching the teams in front of us but as i said we s this is one game uh, now it's on to thursday and sunday two big big game for us have you heard of make that you know when tom lay scored have you heard of hmm. make that noise no. probably probably not no uh, when you're playing well i don't know Probably more used to it back then. <laughs> that uh, the fans maybe didn't uh, really celebrate. Oh well, they did. They did fantastic. The connection between the fans and the uh, and the team and the players. That's it. That means a lot to me, and I think you know that because I want our fans to to know what these players want to do and what they're about. And they're about the hard work and desire. I work with them every day. I see them every day. They want to the commitment. And they they give absolutely everything, so it's um, there's not many egos there in that team. Okay, guys. Oh, you mentioned before. One second, he's forward player. Looks like it's improving a lot. Yeah. Just on on Luke, from a confidence point of view, yeah. there's been it seems to have been an enormous change in the last moment, six weeks or so. Well, he well he was voted player of the year last season, so <laughs> by the by the players, so. Uh, but he's improving and he is a, a, a top boy that we, we want to give uh, absolutely every opportunity to become the best he can be. And for me, he's potentially, the, I've said it before, the best left back in England, potentially, and maybe even more. But that's... that's as, left in the well, I, I've, I've got faith in him there, definitely. Um, and he still provides crosses and overlapping runs from there, so I think it's been excellent there. Okay, guys, thank you. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs>